I'm a raptor Doing what I can, gonna eat everything to my extinction Velociraptor, what? Doing what I can, gonna rip your ears with my Jurassic Jam Mrs. V, Mrs. E, Mrs. L-O-C Mrs. I, Mrs. R, Mrs. A, P, T Mrs. O, what? Mrs. R, raw! Oh, hey Tinkerers, I'm Nene And on today's episode of Tinker Time You have to be prepared to go Back in time Ooh, to a time when dinosaurs ruled the earth with their tiny hands. Are you ready? Yeah, you are. It's Tinker Time. It's Tinker Time. In this episode of Tinker Time, we see the battle off of dinosaur versus Nene. Hmm. So what are these giant creatures everyone's blobbing on about, Louie? Dragons? Uh, lizards? Oh, Louie wants us to check the books. All right. Hmm, fairy, skeletons, dinosaurs. This one, Louie? All right. Whoa. Chronicles of a Common Dinosaur. So dinosaurs existed as far back as 250 million years ago. That's that's 2.7 million times grandpa's age. Whoa. <gasps> and back in the Jurassic period, there wasn't separate continents like Australia, China, the USA or Europe. There was one big continent called Pangaea. Pangaea? Pangaea, pancake. Pangea, Pangea. Pangea. Should we check it out on the Tinker Pad, Louie? All right. Okay, Tinker Pad, show us Pangea. Whoa. We could drive all the way straight from Australia to New York. We could get pizza by the slice. Yum. Pizza. Mmm. Velociraptors were scavengers. They would hunt small prey like you, ha, a tiny human. And they would have eaten any leftovers in your kitchen. Ha, then maybe not the broccoli. These smart, they were, they were, they were very smart dinosaurs. They had a large brain and they would hunt together in packs, making escape impossible. Ha. Dinosaurs can be cranky, cranky dudes. Ooh. Well, Tinkerers, today in Show Me Your Guts, <laughs> we have something really different for you. Louis the dog was digging in the backyard and he found an original dinosaur fossil. Ooh. <laughs> wow, check out that bone structure, Tinkerers. Ah. Oh. And look at all these sharp teeth. Hmm, I wonder if it was a carnivore or a herbivore or an omnivore. Well, Tinkerpad, maybe you can help us. Please reveal which dinosaur this fossil comes from. What? Try again. That. A deer? A baby deer? Oh. <laughs> oh no, Louie's not going to be happy about that one. Oh well, we tried. Indeed, the Velociraptor was a fierce and fierce creature. However, there was another in the dinosaur world who was an almighty, mighty beast. Tyrannosaurus Rex! Tinkerers, it is time for us to check in with our top 10 dinosaurs! Rawr! Coming in at number 10 is the Brachiosaurus. Brachiosaurus has a really long neck, plus he's a vegetarian, so you know that that dino is pooping regularly and without too much stink. 
Coming in at number nine is the Allosaurus, who was a theropod dinosaur living about 150 to 155 million years ago in the late Jurassic period. Allosaurus was fast, she was smart, and she knew how to hunt in packs. Number eight is Dilla, Dilla, Dilophosaurus. Dilophosaurus. Dilophosaurus was kind of like a frilled neck lizard going full banana in the Jurassic period. In Jurassic Park, Dilophosaurus was the one that was seen spitting poison. What the? Coming in at number seven is the Stegosaurus. Now Stegosaurus might have walked a little bit slower than some of the other dino dudes but it had a sweet long spiky tail and the most amazing armor plates on its back. Nailed it, Stegosaurus. Number six, we're getting serious now, was the Carcharodontosaurus. Say that with me. Carcharodontosaurus. Carcharodontosaurus. Nailed it. Yeah. Now, Carcharodontosaurus was fast, was mean, had the most ripping teeth. This is basically a shark head dinosaur going absolutely crazy. You know that Carcharodontosaurus was brushing those teeth every night for its flesh eating the next day. Ugh. Number five, whoop whoop, I am ranking the most awesome herbivore, Paracelorophus. Now a herbivore means that it's only eating plants and not meat. So you might not think this is mean, but check out that horn. Oh, totally awesome horn. Though it might be really hard to buy hats. Hmm. Number four, we're getting into the nitty gritty end of our top 10 here, is none other than <sighs> Triceratops. <gasps> Those horns could get up to three feet long. That is huge. Now this is one tough dino dude. Triceratops actually wasn't afraid of battling off with the T-Rex with the tiny hands. Rah! Number three, none other than Velociraptor. Doing what it can, gonna eat everything till it's extinction. Yeah. Now the raptor is a great example of how size doesn't matter. These tiny dino dudes would hunt in packs using their absolute smarts to together climb onto the bigger dinosaurs, bite them, rip open its flesh and bring down that big dinosaur. Velociraptor, respect. Number two, Spinosaurus. Spinosaurus was one of the largest carnivores to ever live. Spinosaurus could be about 40 to 60 feet long. That's about 18 meters, Tinkerers. Spinosaurus is basically like a crocodile kind of dinosaur ripping things open with its crazy sharp crocodile-like teeth. Spinosaurus. Drum roll please. Number one. Tyrannosaurus Rex! This bad to the bone dino dude was not only the toughest dinosaur that ever lived, but possibly one of the toughest creatures to ever live. Those tiny hands, those sharp teeth, this dino could bring down anything. Praise be Tyrannosaurus Rex. Praise be. When I woke up today, I was a dinosaur. I was a dinosaur. I was a dinosaur. Rawr! 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 I was a dinosaur. Well, Tinkerers, to finish off today's episode of Tinker Time, we have a super awesome, super easy dinosaur egg experiment for you. All you're going to need is a balloon. and something to put inside your balloon. Something interesting that you would like to make a fossil out of. So, stretch this out, this is the hardest bit. Stretch out your balloon, place something inside the balloon, like a dinosaur or a, a toy that you would like. Oh, 
and then attach your balloon to the tap, fill it with water like a water balloon and tie a knot in it. And then just place your water balloon in the freezer. So here's some that we prepared earlier that we're going to cut open right now to check out our dinosaur fossils. Here we go. It's tinker time. I got a problem and I don't know how to solve it. Can you fix it with me? We'll start working through it, every possible solution. Trick it, trick it, trick it. Some problems need a hammer. Some problems need some food. Gonna jump right in it, cause I can't wait to begin it. Try to see what I can do. It's time. It's time. To take a tick, a tick, and I don't know. Dare to experiment, figure it out. If it doesn't work, doesn't matter, cause I can't all try. I'm gonna fix it, fix it, find another solution. Try every angle in a revolution. Oh, my baby, you're free! <laughs> Tinkers, if you enjoyed this episode of Tinker Time, make sure you leave your emoticon comments in the section below. See you next time. It's Tinker Time. Roar!